ever play games on Roblox that require you to click a lot, like Tycoon, Simulator, and Sword Fighting games? Well, I have a way to make your life a whole lot easier. It's called Auto Clickers. Now, Auto Clickers are programs that you can install to your computer that allow your mouse to click as fast as possible, as much as possible. While Roblox itself does allow you to use Auto Clickers, some experiences do not. For example, Royal High and Bloxburg don't allow it, and some simulator games that have auto clicking game passes don't allow you to use your own auto clicker. They require you to actually buy it from them. If you're caught using an auto clicker in a Roblox game that doesn't allow it, they'll most likely ban you and put the reason as exploiting. However, if you find a game that allows auto clicking and you want to use it, let's go through how to download an auto clicker and what features you get from an auto clicker. So once you click the link in the description, that'll take you to this SourceForge page. As you can see, this auto clicker is consistently updated and it also has millions and millions of downloads per week, which means it is super duper trustworthy and it even has the open source excellence badge from SourceForge. All you need to do is click the download button and then you need to click save. After that, it'll open up here and all you need to do is double click on your download. If you're on Windows, it'll show you this message. Don't worry about it at all. This is just telling you that it's not an official Microsoft app, which we know because we download it on the internet. So all you need to do is install anyway. And then it'll open up automatically right here. So as you can see, there's tons of different controls that you can play with. The most important is probably going to be your click interval. This is how often you want to be clicking. So if I put one second here and 100 milliseconds, that would mean that every one second and 100 milliseconds, it would click. The lower you make it, for example, if we put one millisecond, the more fast it's going to click. You can even make it longer, have it click once every couple hours. But your main goal is to probably click as fast as possible, which means you should stick to one millisecond or I would probably do 500 milliseconds just so you don't get kicked from the game if they have an auto clicker detector. Then you can see the click options. They have mouse button. You can do left, right, or the middle mouse, which is your scroll wheel. I would stick with left because that is what most games have as your clicking mouse. And then they say click type single or double. I would stick with single. Right here, they have click repeat. So you can choose to repeat it a thousand times. You can repeat until stopped, or you can change this to any number that you want. Next, you have cursor position. So right now, where it says current location, if I pressed F6 and I started it, my mouse would click wherever I have it on the screen. So like if I'm moving it, it would click right here and it would click right here. However, if you want it to click a specific location on your screen, for example, I want to click on this chair over and over again. I'm going to click pick location and then... I'm going to move over to exactly where I want to click and then I'll click or press the escape key and boom. Then I'll make sure that the location that I just calibrated is selected here. And then once I click F6 or the start button, it'll probably click right there. And then if we go into our hotkey settings, you can change the key that you want to press to make it start or stop. For example, by default, it's set to F6. However, if I wanted to change it to something like the alt key, you press start, stop, and then you press the key that you want. Now, if it has a plus button by it, that means it's asking you to do another key. For example, I'll do alt and escape and then we can click OK. And now that hotkey is permanently changed until we go to our hotkey settings again, and then we make it different. Something really cool about this is the record and playback feature. So if we click this, we can record different mouse movements. For example, if I want to, let me just start recording. I'll just do this, and then I stop recording. I can play that action and it will repeat it with my mouse, which I think is very, very cool. You can change things like the speed, 
you can go into the options and you can view the hotkeys. But this is a really cool feature if you want to do something very specific with your mouse over and over again. And those are all the features that I have to show you. And that's how to download an auto clicker and all the basic features. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below if this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching.